Hey guys, it's Lively Liz from California. Oh my god. <laughs> and welcome oh, back hell to the no, man. What the in the last video, we went over how to customize your mock ups in Adobe Illustrator. And today, we're going to go over how to do it in Procreate. So, first things first, we're going to get a mock up. So, we're going to go to Actions, Insert a File locate the file and then select the mock-up you want you can also search it up here so if i wanted a full zip we'll just grab that all right so now we're going to get into how to add color to the mock-up first thing we're going to do is select the color we want right here on the color wheel you can also pick through the classic harmony value and through palettes and now what we're going to do is drag the blue dot onto the mock-up if you want to color in the spots individually, drag the color in, select continue filling, and then drag your hand across the screen to the left to decrease the threshold and drag it to the right to increase it. So now once we decrease the threshold and we undo this, whenever we drop the color in, it'll just color in that space individually. You can also change the color by going to adjustments, hue, saturation, and brightness, and then adjusting the hue. If you want to color inside an object, go to layers, select the layer you want, and then go to alpha lock. Choose the color. And now we're just gonna go back to the logo and color it in. If you want to add a design to your logo, but you don't want the background, all you have to do is go to this backwards S, change add to remove, and now all we're gonna do is select the background. Max out the eraser size, and then erase the background. Now whenever we deselect the S, there's no longer a background. Now if you wanna add text, all you have to do is go to actions, add text, and before we type in anything, if you wanna change the color, go ahead and go to the color wheel and do so. Now let's get typing. So I'm just gonna put this, select it all. And if you wanna change the font, press the button above the keyboard that says Dawn Graffiti. That's the name of the font. Now we have a whole font library that we can choose from. You can also get free fonts at fontsforfree.com. Let's go ahead and click done. Now that we know how to add text, let's get into these little options at the bottom that you get whenever you press the cursor. And what the uniform option lets you do is quickly scale, rotate, while preserving the proportions. Now moving on, distort allows you to create a 3D tilt and angled effect. Lastly, moving on to warp, which folds and wraps your artwork. All right, so now we're gonna get into the clipping mask. So now that we have our pattern, we're gonna put it over the mock-up however you want, go to the layers, tap on the layer, and then clipping mask. Click on the N right next to the check mark, and then go to darken or multiply. You can also play with the opacity and what that allows you to do is see through the object. If you want the tapestry look, go to adjustments, which is this little wand looking thing, and then go to noise. To increase the noise, what we're gonna do is drag our finger to the right. Again, we don't want too much, you want just enough, so adjust it to your liking. If you want the acid wash look, all you have to do is go to the brush library, go down to spray paints, and then select medium nozzle. Now just draw in the wash. Now if you wanna make a design that's symmetric, all you have to do is go to actions, Canvas, enable drawing guide, edit drawing guide, and then select symmetry tree. Now what's on this side will now be reflected on the other. If you use your brush and it's pixelated like this, go to actions, crop and resize, settings, and then make sure it's over a thousand pixels. So I'm gonna change it both to a thousand pixels. Make sure the DPI is at 300 so it has good printing quality and then click done. Now, as you can see, our pixelated thing is all the way at the bottom. And now whenever we draw, 
It's not pixelated. If you made your mock-up and you want to move it, but the logo isn't staying attached to it, select the top layer and then select Merge Down. Now whenever we select it, it'll all move together as one. If you want to make a perfect shape, all you have to do is grab the brush, make a circle and hold it down and tap the screen with your other finger to make a perfect circle. Same thing goes with the straight line. So if we wanted a straight line instead of a curvy one, we would just make a line and hold it down at the bottom. And quick disclaimer, the mock-up attachments include 205 interchangeable vectors that are added to your mock-ups to create a more accurate, detailed, and creative mock-up for your tech pack to send to your manufacturer. Whether you're creating a mock-up for your own brand or for a client, this pack will save you time and effort while enhancing the overall quality of your designs. But no, I hope you guys did enjoy this video over Procreate. I hope I explained everything good. If you want any of the mock-ups or attachments in this video, you can get it at livelylist.com or in the link in my bio. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. See you next time.